वेलकम एवरी वन सो टुडे वे गोन टू सॉल्व दिस वेरी नाइस मैथ प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट ओके सो फर्स्ट थिंग्स फर्स्ट वॉट इसी देर आर लिटरली टू थ्री मैथड्स इन विच यू कैन डू दिस ओके बट बिफोर गोइंग ऑल ऑफ गोइंग अड विथ ऑल ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट योर नॉलेज ऑफ फेमडिस एंड बॉडमास और बॉडमास वॉट एवर वर्क फॉर यू ऑल has to be very very clear okay so now here what we can do is see the first step whatever i always tell my students is that whenever you all come across a divi or decimal point okay you convert it you convert it into a fraction so this becomes 5 upon 10 divide by 5 upon 10 divide by 5 upon 10 divide by Pi upon ten. Okay, now please understand. Here, what you can do is you can keep this pi upon ten as it is, or you can reduce it. Okay, but first I'll show you how to do this by keeping the fraction as it is. Okay, now one very very important thing for all of you all to remember is that the method of KCF means whenever you have two numbers which are getting divided okay so in that case what you can do is you will keep k stands for keep okay you will keep the first number as it is and c stands for change so you will change this sign division sign changes to multiplication now obviously when you change something then the next fraction next number also has to be little bit there has to be something different right because obviously a divided by b cannot be equal to a into b right so here what you do is you flip okay so what you do is you take the flipping or flip the number which is coming after after the decimal point which is b in this case so you will flip it means basically you are doing the reciprocal so now see b the rep reciprocal or the flipping of b is nothing but what 1 upon b okay so it will be 1 upon b okay so this is the method of kcf understood okay now going back to your question here also we will apply the logic of what kcf okay so first things we'll keep the first one as it is then we'll change this sign division sign to multiplication remember this only works for division whenever you have a division only then it works okay so you will change the sign and then here what happens is you will flip this the next fraction that will be what 10 upon 5 the same rule will apply for this division sign as well so now we change it to what multiplication and then next would be what flipping flipping the next fraction would be again 10 upon 5 the same thing will apply for the next one as well sorry here also you will flip it so that will get you 10 upon 5 okay now obviously things are getting cancelled so this and this is getting cancelled this and this is also getting cancelled now you have a choice over here please understand here you have a choice which is nothing but what just multiplying them as it is that is 100 upon 25 and then doing the division okay so here also we know that this is ones are and this is fours are so your answer comes out to be 4 okay or you can do the simplification or cross cross you can cross these fractions as well okay reduce these fractions this is 5 ones are 5 twos are 5 ones are 5 twos are so again 2 into 2 gets you 4 okay i hope this is very very clear to every one now coming back like i said we can see you actually made this fraction like this right the question changed to 5 upon 10 divide by 5 upon 10 divide by 5 upon 10 divide by 5 upon 10 okay now like i said we can you know literally reduce it at this step itself this will be what 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 and then 1 upon 2 so now you change it to what 1 upon 2 divide by 1 upon 2 divide by 1 upon 2 divide by 1 upon 2 now using the law of what kcf that means keeping the first fraction or first number as it is that is 1 upon 2 changing this sign to multiplication flipping this one so that gets you 2 again this also becomes 2 multiplication then becomes 2 so now again you can see things are getting cancelled so you just have to multiply these two your answer is coming out to be 
support i hope this is super super important for anyone who is you know practicing uh, math okay now please understand please understand not necessary every time you get this you know like you can you, you have this uh, this strikes you sometimes it's okay if it doesn't strike you this also is absolutely okay because as you can see here also you got the answer which is 4 it is absolutely fine to do your reduction anywhere okay at any step you can realize okay and you can do the reduction that is completely fine the only thing you need to remember is reduction only happens from top to bottom and across that's it oh and that too only when the sign the sign in between is multiplication please understand the reduction will only happen for multiplication sign no other sign if there was addition subtraction or division that also cannot help you when you know when you have fractions and you want to reduce them only the sign of multiplication will help you okay i hope this is very very clear to every one now let's try one more sum so now see if this was 75 7.5 let's do this 7.5 divided by 7.5 divided by 7.5 then in that case what you would do again like i said we'll do what 75 upon 10 into okay no let me just do this step by step we'll continue with this so this is what 75 upon 10 this is again 75 upon 10 now like i said you can reduce it okay so what happens is 5 twos are 5 fifteens are twos are fifteens are then again twos are fifteens are so now what we'll do is like i said we'll keep the first fraction as it is then we'll apply what kcf again so then the next one will be what changing the sign and then flipping so flip flipping 15 upon 2 is nothing but what 2 upon 15 similarly here also the, you will get 2 upon 15 right so now things are so much easier this is cancelling this is cancelling this is cancelling this is cancelling obviously they are cancelling with each other so your final answer for this one is just 2 upon 15 okay so now students coming to your diy please remember almost all my videos have a diy at the end of the video and I, I'm not daily basis I upload literally two or three videos so if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any specific doubts related to math I will try to make a video on that as well okay so now for your DIY please tell me what will be 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.25 Please let me know your answers in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.